Okay, we're back. We're going to be drawing uh, filled polygons today and looking at what a point array is. So we're going to add a picture box to the form. And that's what we're going to use as our drawing surface. Uh, we'll add a button too, just for fun. So you can type butt and get button. And uh, I think that'll do for now. You can grab your picture box and let's go to properties. And let's just change the size to something comfortable. So we'll try 450 by 450. See if that fits on our form okay. So make sure that's fitting nicely. I'm going to just pop it over here. I'm going to grab my button, put it over here. Make it a bit bigger. I'll change the font on it too to make it look nice. Um, we'll change this one. Uh, let's change the name to BTN. And what's the first thing we're going to do? Um, let's do a draw close curve. So I'm going to call it BTN close curve. And I'll make the text the same. There. Now I'll have to make the button bigger. There we go. So we got a BTN closed curve, and we got our picture box, which we haven't named. Uh, let's call the picture box PIC drawing, and that'll do. Okay, now that that is done, we can hit F7 and get to our code window. And uh, we'll go ahead and insert a click event for that button. And uh, just right above it, I'm going to put a comment, and I'm going to write about uh, draw closed curve. So the, uh, the procedure, uh, the method needs a pen, um, and then it needs to know what points. So I'm going to write for points, we need a point array. Um, and a point array is like a list of points. So it's a list of points. Um, it's kind of like a special variable that can hold more than one piece of information, like an array. So maybe we can write that. I'm going to say a point array. I'm just going to write it's a special variable type. Really it's a it's a it's a class, it's an object, but uh but we'll just say variable type that can hold more than one piece of information. In this case, points. I'm going to be more specific actually and say xy points. So a point array is a special uh, object or variable type that can hold more than one piece of information. And in this case, it's going to be holding x, y points. So down here in our method, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll just use a, a built-in pen, but we will declare our point array. So to declare a point array, you still go dim. Um, then you got to give it a name. Um, so I'm going to call it close curve uh, points and you need to have the two little brackets after it it's just part of the deal uh, we'll learn about that later but for now uh, when you declare an array you need the brackets so you just say as point and then you say it becomes and you open some curly braces and you say new point and then you give it the point so I'm gonna just kinda make this curve up um, draw curve will automatically connect your first point to your last point and, and then make it a closed kind of curve. So, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, let's go with, I don't know, 10, 10. And then um, maybe put a comma. And we're going to just copy and paste this to save ourselves some time. And let's see. I'm just making this up in my head, so hopefully it looks okay. So we'll go 50, 25, so we moved over, and we'll move over a bit more, and we'll go with, oh, let's go with 65, and we'll move down again, oh, let's go real deep, there we go. So this is going to be my last point for my little wacky shape, so I'm going to... I'm going to move it forward for X a bit, maybe up to 100. And for Y, I'm going to move back up to 100 or something like that. So um, when this thing draws, it will be connecting this first point and this last point together, and it's going to make a closed curve. Make sure you get rid of that last uh, comma there. Okay, so we got our point array. Um, we're going to declare our drawing surface next. So you're going to go dim. Drawing surface is a great name for it. 
as graphics. And uh, many of you are sort of forgetting this step. So if you say me.createGraphics, that's going to make the form your graphics object. If you want a different object, you got to say the name of the object. So in this case, I want my picture box. And then you go create graphics, and now you have a graphics object. And uh, we're going to use a built-in pen. So we are just going to go ahead and start drawing our closed uh, curve. So we're going to go drawing surface dot draw closed curve. And we need a pen. So we'll just go pens dot, uh, well, what color should we use today? Red. Use a red pen. Um, and now it needs the points. So to use the point array, you just say close curve points. And uh, that ought to do it. So we can hit compile and see what happens. <laughs> see what kind of monstrosity I made. Oh, that's exactly what I was going for. <laughs> so over here in the top left corner, that would have been our first point. Um, our last point, uh, I can't remember, is that like a 100, 100? So I believe maybe it was over here probably, and then it connects those two points automatically. Okay, so let's add uh, two more uh, buttons here. We're going to do two more of those methods. So we'll just do separate click events for those. And uh, for the first one here, uh, we will name it BTN... Uh, filled curve and we'll make the text uh, filled curve and then the other one we'll go BTN uh, filled polygon and we'll we'll and then we'll make the text filled polygon there so it looks something like that. I'm going to go ahead and do the filled curve first. So I'm going to add the click event from my design view. I'm going to double click, get my click event. And uh, I will just quickly add a comment here. Um, draw filled curve. The only difference is it needs a brush and then the points. Um, so it's basically identical to uh, before. Um, we're going to need to clear uh, our screen um, unless we're okay with having the last thing drawn on it, which actually I'm going to just leave it alone. So we won't clear the screen. I changed my mind. Let's clear the screen. So we'll declare our drawing surface. Uh, you can't do that globally, unfortunately. you got to do it in each method. Uh, so we'll clear the screen. And we'll just say drawing surface dot clear. Um, and then you got to say the color. So I don't know if, I, if the control color is there. Um, so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go me dot black. And, uh, oh, what am I doing wrong? Oh, my bad. It should be color dot. Let's see if I can get control. No, I think only the web colors are available. So we'll go color dot black. And we'll go back to our design view. And we'll just quickly change the back color of this form to black. So there we have it. That way we don't notice the screen clearing. And we'll add this to the first method too. Just in case we click these in a different order. Okay, so we'll also grab our point array from before, so we'll copy and paste it. And basically what we'll do is we'll just draw it in the same exact spot, but this time we'll fill it. So I'm just going to write a comment to draw filled curve. So we'll go drawing, drawing surface dot draw filled curve uh, what's the name of it? fill closed curve so fill closed curve is the name of it and use a color that you like I'll go with purple this time and then we'll use uh, curve points I believe I called it closed curve points there we go still getting an error what have I done oh right we need a brush Oh, I'm losing my mind here, so it's not color.purple. We're going to go brushes.purple. There we go. And I believe that I got the wrong method name up here. So it's fill closed curve. That's how you spell it. Fill closed curve. You can tell I'm just winging this. So there's my closed curve. There's my filled curve. Looks beautiful. 
Okay, the last one, the most fun one, is we're going to do a filled polygon now, just so we can see the difference. So basically, draw uh, a fill curve method is going to use uh, curvy lines to connect the points. Uh, if you use a polygon method, it's just going to use straight lines between the points. So we'll see a uh, difference in the shape. So I'm just going to write the method name over here, and uh, we're going to go uh, fill polygon. And it needs a brush, and then the points. And we'll just put a comment, uh, uses uh, straight lines, straight lines to connect the points. First point and last point will automatically connect to close the shape. Runer, please return to room 34. Runer, room 34. So we are going to basically copy and paste all of this including, uh, we'll just copy and paste the whole thing. We'll make some modifications here, so we're still going to clear the drawing surface. Um, closed curve points, maybe we'll call it uh, closed polygon points this time. And I've decided I'm going to move um, my shape 150 units to uh, towards the right and 150 units down. So I'm going to add 150 to all these points. So that'll be 160, 160. And 150 plus 50 is 200. And then 25 plus 150 is 175. And ooh, can I do this in my head? I believe it'll be 215. And then we're adding 150, so it'll be a 300 here. And then this will be 250, 250. Just to get something a little different. So there it is, and uh, our, we're now doing a fill polygon. So we'll update our method call here. So we'll go fill polygon. Not sure what color we should do. How about white? It's uh, it's snowing outside, and uh, it's no longer called closed curve points. It's called polygon points, closed polygon points. So let's draw it. So let's see, uh, there's our filled curve, and there's our filled polygon. So see how this one is kind of curvy, and this one is just straight lines. So it kind of looks like a slanted hourglass. Thanks for joining us. Have a good day.